and what we're gonna do is transform my little laundry room. What's up, it's your girl Shella T and welcome back to another video. Today we are doing another organizing video. I'm going to be doing my laundry room. As you can see, it is a hot mess. It needs some TLC and what we're gonna do is transform my little laundry room. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is what you call a hot, hot mess. This, how did it even get like this is beyond me. But what we're gonna do now is start to clean up this mess. Okay, so I'm just wiping everything down now so that it can be nice and clean. I haven't given this a wipe down in a while, so. Ooh, it's clean, shiny. That's what I like to see, ooh. Okay, so this is the bucket that I am going to be using. I like it, I think it's cute. And I am just gonna start organizing. There's all the buckets that I need. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna take all the supplies that I have, plus I have some in bags that I just went shopping, and I'm going to be putting everything into buckets. Of course, organizing it. So I think this is gonna be my laundry bucket, so where I have my bleach and fabric softener, and I have my unstoppable. So I'm just going to be organizing it. Hopefully I don't need any more baskets. And I'm gonna be putting all of this stuff, all of this stuff away. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back. Okay, so what I need to do now is, you see how messy this is? There's even stuff that fell back behind there. I'm gonna clean out. Um, the sides behind the dryers and sweep up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is use this Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and I'm going to go over these walls because as you can see, and, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna wipe down the walls really fast. Okay, so right now we are done. I am going to show you the final look. It is finally done, so. Okay, so I'm so happy with the results and how it turned out. It turned out better than I could imagine. <laughs> I am really not a decorating girl, but I am loving this journey I am on on getting organized because it's just everything just functions better when it is organized. So and it looks good. That's that's a good thing. I got this little cart from Target. This is just going to be where I put all my extra products. Um, I got these little things from a hardware store that was in my area it's just little hooks so that way you can hook your i put my mop on here my swiffer in my broom so here's the final look i got all of this cleaned off i didn't do much just wiped it down um but what i did is i um made this little stand i got this actually from the dollar tree and these little plants from i believe ikea this is my detergent no, this is my fabric softener. Just put in this little cute little oil jar. And then um, this is my Tide, so my detergent. And in this little jar, I put in my pods. These are my leftover Tide pods, but um, I'm switching over to these. This is just here for the everyday use. Um, yeah, and I just think it looks really cute like that. 
I got these little, <laughs> these little signs from, I believe it was Target. So I got these little signs fold, well, wash and dry, fold and repeat. I got those at Target. It was like $3, so that is cool. So I just got this little, I got this little flower pot, I believe at Marshall's before everything closed down. What I was going to do is put labels. I'm not sure if I'm gonna put labels just because I think aesthetically I like it with no labels. I just kinda like it like this. I like the plain Jane like vibe. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Should I put some type of label on these or no, just everything that I would need for washing in this little basket. Also keep my toilet paper in here, so I just thought this would be neat to use. Um, just stack some toilet paper in here. I do have extras that I just put in the actual bathroom. And then with this one, I just put my little, my cleaning supplies, so just miscellaneous supplies. Also keep cleaning supplies in the kitchen as well, but this is just the extras. Um, I got this little sign here, this wash open 24 hour laundry. From the Dollar Tree, how cute is that? So up there, I'm shorty, but this is our garbage bags. Up here, I have some more cleaning stuff, our Clorox wipes and Ajax. Um, in this big tub here, I got my paper towels and napkins are behind there. Here, I got some like kitchen cleaning supplies, dishwashing liquid, and some Febreze, all that jazz. This bucket is empty. I don't know if this is just gonna be like a lint bucket. I don't know if I should put it down here. I don't know. Right now, I don't have anything to go in there. And again, that little sign came from Dollar Tree. Got this hamper, um, this little hamper from Ikea when they were open. And this is usually where we put in our dirty towels. So the towels and washcloth, they go in here. Okay, so again, this is it. This is the final look. I'm super, super happy with the way it turned out. I feel like it's gonna be so functional and so easy to keep um, organized. It'll be very easy and it'll be less mess for me to clean up. And I'm just really pleased with how it turned out. Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below. What is your laundry room looking like? Do you need to reorganize it? Is it already organized? Or are you like me and you just had to get it together because it was a hot mess? <laughs> okay, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit that bell so you can be notification gang. And I am out.